All right, fourth graders, it's time for lesson 7.6, part one. There will be two parts to 7.6. Tonight we are learning how to, <laughs> learning changing mixed numbers to improper fractions. So let's write down a couple definitions first. A mixed number is an amount given as a whole number and a fraction. This is our example, one and two-thirds. So one whole and then two-thirds as well. An improper fraction is when the numerator is greater than the denominator. Our example is five-fourths. Five, the numerator, is greater than four, the denominator. So write these definitions down at the top of your paper so you can refer to them. So. Today, we're learning how to take this mixed number, 1 and 2 thirds, and changing it into that improper fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Now, this is how we're going to show our work. Change in here so you can see my color. First thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply the denominator and the whole number. I'm going to put a little arrow right and a multiplication sign that's the first thing you do so three times one is three then you're gonna add your numerator so your work would look like this after you make those symbols you would multiply one times three is three plus 2, which is your numerator, is 5. Then, now remember, we're making an improper fraction, right? You might be asking yourself, well, what's the denominator going to be? The denominator always stays the same. Isn't that nice? Just like adding and subtracting fractions, the denominator stayed the same. Same thing, going from a mixed number to an improper fraction. The denominator always stays the same. So check it out. Look back over here. I did 3 times 1 plus 2. 1. Ooh, I should have written it 3 times 1, huh? Because that's how I said it. Let's do that. Oops. Almost did it wrong again. There we go. 3 times 1 plus 2. Denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. Let's try another one. 2 and 3 6. Now, you're going to multiply the denominator and the numerator, the denominator and the whole number. Then you're going to add the numerator. So first, you're going to do 6 times 2, and that's 12. And then you're going to add 3, which is 15. Denominator stays the same. It's 6. Denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. So 6 times 2 plus 3, that's your numerator, and then you bring your denominator over, and it's the same. Okay, if you need to rewatch those two examples, go ahead and do that. Let's try to apply this skill to a word problem. So, Mr. Fox has two and three six loaves of cornbread. Each loaf was cut into one six sized pieces. If he has 14 people over for dinner, is there enough bread for each person to have one piece? There's our mixed number definition. And it says below that, to find how many one six sized pieces are in two and three six, write two and three six as a fraction. Okay, now I'm gonna model the problem with a picture, and then I'm going to show you how we learned, right, 
with multiplying the denominator, the whole number, and adding the numerator. So, 2 and 3 6 loaves. Well, 2, right? Here's two whole loaves, and it says each loaf was cut into six pieces. There's six pieces. There's six pieces. So those are two whole loaves and three six. Right? So, let's see how many pieces we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, we have 15 slices, and 14 people are coming over for dinner. So, yeah, we have enough slices. We have one extra left over. Now, let's look at the way we showed you before. So, you take your mix number... 2 and 3 6 and you want to change it into an improper fraction. Remember, multiply the denominator and your whole number and then add your numerator. So, 6 times 2 is 12. Add your numerator plus 3 is 15. Denominator stays the same. This was the same as our modeled problem before that. So, again, the numerator tells you how many pieces there are. 15 sixth-sized pieces. So, yes, we have enough for 14 people plus one left over, maybe for Hinkley. Who knows? Okay, so practice problems. Here they are. You have four practice problems. If you need to go back and watch how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions, please do so. You multiply the denominator times the whole number, add the numerator, and then the denominator stays the same for your new fraction. Have fun, good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow morning.